and he was a uh, participant in the IMSSS uh, workshop. Now, uh, on July 1st, uh, 1973, half a year after he got the Nobel Prize, the IMSSS opened its doors and started its activities for the summer. And Kurtz noticed that Arrow was not there. Uh, uh, so he asked his secretary, Susie Richardson, to find out where is Kenneth Arrow. All right. And she, Susie, was an ex also an extraordinary individual. I mean, she was able to do everything. You ask her to do something, she did it. Yeah. So she tracked him down. Uh, he was vacationing in Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> and he had just gone out a day or two before for a vacation in Hawaii. Uh, <coughs> so uh, uh, Mordecai said, get me Arrow on the phone. So she got him on the phone. And Mordecai gets on the phone and says, Kenneth, uh, what the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> So he said, I'm vacationing in Hawaii. So Mordecai says, Kenneth, I want you here tomorrow morning. And if you're not here tomorrow morning, there's going to be trouble. Okay? <laughs> uh, now, that's an extraordinary thing to say to somebody who was just awarded the Nobel Prize half a year before. But it's the more extraordinary thing is that Arrow was there the next morning. <laughs> he canceled his vacation and he came. So that's the kind of place that the IMSS was. And it was extraordinarily productive. Everything important in economic theory for those 20 years went through the IMSS. Frank Hahn, like you mentioned, was one of the stars there that came every summer. There were some fixtures like Arrow, Mordecai Kurtz, your humble servant was one of the fixtures, uh, Frank Hahn, and there were uh, a varying guest list for every year. In addition to that, the, the, some of the greatest stars in economic theory uh, uh, were, were there. I think all of the greatest stars in economic theory in that period went through the uh, IMSSS. Now, the third item on uh, your list was uh, the, uh, including Jacques Dres, by the way, at Coeur. Jacques Dres also came several times. So, um, uh, Coeur, the Center for Operations Research and Econometrics in the Catholic University of Louvain. I visited Coeur uh, quite a few times. Um, and, and, and once I described core as, as the, uh, my European home, yes, my, uh, my European work home, I think at, at least four or five times, I became a close collaborator of Jacques Drez, who uh, was the, uh, or it, well, he, he is the founder of core. I worked with him, I published several joint papers with him, among them some of the most difficult things that I've ever done in my life. And just recently, we published two papers uh, just uh, uh, a year or two ago uh, together. So uh, Jacques Dez is one of the closest collaborators. Uh, other people there at CORE, uh, I think perhaps the most prominent, uh, there's Claude Daspermont, there are many others. The, the, I think one of the deepest mathematical game theorists in the world is Jean-Francois Mertens. Uh, who um, uh, uh, is at CORE still. He, in fact, he, he, he just was visiting Jerusalem working with um, some of the uh, mathematical game theorists at the Center for the Study of Rationality in Jerusalem. But Mertens um, is uh, extremely uh, deep thinking mathematical game theorist. He is one of the stars at CORE, and this is definitely one of the more important um, stations, one might say, in my life. I think that should answer your question. Okay.